This is Alabama school teacher Becky Kuder. Her hair fallen out after she had a CT brain scan in September. Her lawyer says she received a higher than normal radiation dose. Two other patients have come forward with similar stories. In Los Angeles, Cedar sinai Medical Center is being investigated for giving excess radiation to more than 250 patients during their CT scans. The problem of too much radiation during CT scans may be more widespread than anyone thought. The doses are actually higher than are generally reported. New research out today found a wide variation in radiation dose for the most common CT scans, like abdomen, pelvis, and chest. A survey of four hospitals found some patients received 13 times more radiation than others for the same type of scan. Depending on where a particular patient was sent, be it hospital one or hospital two, or if it was in the afternoon or the evening, the dose that patient received would have been profoundly different. And that degree of variation was what really was so surprising. Radiation is a known carcinogen, even in the relatively small amounts used with most CTs. There are a number of uncertainties involved in predicting cancer risk. But a second study today estimates that about 29,000 future cancers might be caused by the 72 million CT scans done in 2007. So if a CT scan is truly indicated, patients should um, proceed with that scan, but be sure to choose an accredited facility that uh, can be uh, relied upon to control dose and make it as low as possible. The FDA is investigating the type of brain scan that went wrong in California and Alabama hospitals. Meanwhile, experts are calling for regulations to standardize how all CT scans are performed. Katie? All right, Dr. John LePook, important story. Thank you so much, John.